I want to go through an example of exactly how we calculate the pH of a solution that contains a weak acid. For example, what is the pH of a 0.2 molar solution of HF? Again, they'll give you the Ka because you need the Ka to calculate the pH of a weak acid solution. The first thing to recognize is that when you're given Ka, Ka is a ratio of dissociated to undissociated acid, or in this case, the concentration of hydrofluoric acid that dissociated, you know, concentration of H plus times the concentration of F minus that was produced, and the concentration of undissociated acid on the bottom. We don't know how much of it dissociated yet. We are going to call that amount X. So we're left with X moles per liter of H plus, and we get X moles per liter of F minus as well. What we're left with of HF is what we started with, 0.2 minus the amount that we consumed. And if you'd like a little more proof of that, HF dissociates in an equilibrium to give you H plus and F minus. If you start with 0.2 of this, you'll be left with 0.2 minus X if you produce X of this and X of this. But in any case, this is the key right here. This is equal to the Ka, which was 3.4 times 10 to the minus 4. Now, what I would like to do here is simplify this as much as I can. I look at this Ka and I say that's pretty, pretty small. So, I'm going to assume that x is much, much less than 0.2. So, that means that 0.2 minus x is approximately the same as 0.2. If I subtract something very, very small from a number, that number doesn't change much. It's like 100 minus 1. 100 minus 1 is 99, but it's approximately 100. Approximate enough for these kinds of calculations. If that's the case, then our Ka, or 3.4 times 10 to the minus 4, is now just x squared over 0 0.2. Much more simplified, because now if we cross multiply, we get x squared is 0 0.2 times 3.4 times 10 to the minus 4, or that Ka that we had before. And if I plug that into my calculator, what do I get? I get I don't know, 0.2 times 3.4 to the power of minus 4. I get that, but that is x squared. So to get x, I have to take the square root of that answer. And I get 8.25 times 10 to the minus 3. 8.25 times 10 to the minus 3. The great thing about what we've just done here is that the concentration of H plus is X. Notice we replaced it with X when we were doing this calculation. That already equals H plus. And I hope you know for, for now that pH is simply the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. In this case, I'll just take that number that I got and do the negative log of it, and it'll give me a syntax error. Okay, minus log of what number was it? It was 8.25 to the exponent minus 3. Now I get 2.08. That is certainly an acidic pH, so I feel like this is probably the correct answer. And thus we've calculated the pH of the solution of a weak acid from the concentration of it and the Ka. This is the pattern you will always use for a weak acid.